Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of the Dead Cod Plus Repentance Plus whatever the the plus the plus the plus. Anyways, I am back again. I just had to scrap a recording, so I'm a little bit upset because I got like like 20 minutes into the video and triggered the bloody planetarium bug again. It's it's being worked from the devs know about it. Um and so it should be fixed soon, but yeah, at the minute. I just can't re-roll myself, otherwise I end up with all planetarium items. And I think after like the fifth or sixth time, you guys don't want to see that anymore. But anyways, let's randomize our character and see what we might get. I also had some lag issues um, in the last episode too, which I think I fixed. Uh, I want to try and get a character we haven't played this um, this time round yet. Is Lazarus one we haven't played? Lazarus. We haven't played Lazarus. Let's play Lazarus. Let's just go for it. Let's just go for it. Okay, pill. Pill is a speed up. I will take it. Uh, and do remember, this is uh, this is cheeky Lazarus. This is cheeky Lazarus. Lazarus, we want to be dying constantly. We want to be always dead because we gain permanent stat upgrades and stuff. So, and we get a free life every floor. We want to kill ourselves every single floor that we can uh, without it being too bad. I do apologize as well. The streak has been reset because of this issue. Uh, deck of cards is pretty nice. Does, I can't. I could never remember if you get a card when you pick up deck cards, but I think I'm just thinking the tarot cloth. I wonder why that champion that drops a key is the only one in the game that has less health. I, I swear it's a bug, but I like, I, I did ask Kilburn at one point, and I think he said it isn't, but I don't really get it. Like, what's the point in having one that just doesn't have more health than all the other champions in the game? Literally every other variant that I know of has more health. It's weird. Maybe the small champion doesn't. Maybe the, the one that's like a teeny tiny baby boy. Anyways, I can't remember what the question the question of the day for the last episode was. Uh, oh, that was it. What's a time in your life in which you should have asked for help but didn't? What's a time in your life that you really regret not getting uh, not getting assistance with something? Whether it be with like mental stuff, whether it be physical, whether it be I don't know, ju just general. Like, is is there a time in your life where you think that if you if you look back on it, you kind of cringe at the thought that you didn't seek help sooner? Mine, to be fair, mine isn't that bad. But recently, I am. Um, I kind of had my first dealings with anxiety. Just, just it wasn't anything major, but it was something that I hadn't really experienced before. And it took me, it took me like two weeks to kind of actually sort of get a hold of it and start talking, which I realize isn't too long in the grand scheme of things, but I really should have, um, I really should have tried to get something done about it a little earlier than I did. Cause it, it kind of, yeah, it was, it was just silly really. I might be able to move this into the secret room. Yes. Eh, pretty worthless, but I did it. <laughs> I'm hoping for a sack room here. Um, actually, would a sack room even be useful? I'm going to use a key on this. This could be very valuable. Uh, we got a chariot, we got a wheel of fortune, and we got a doubled strength card. Wheel of fortune is whatever. Hmm. Okay, that wasn't great. Um... I definitely still want to die on this floor. Maybe I'll just like take on the boss and see what happens. This this boss is a a bit of a terrible one, but we do have creep on the floor, which is helping us out. I'm taking damage on purpose here, by the way. If you're wondering why I'm just body walking directly into the enemy, I kind of want to die. So, and I didn't manage to kill myself. Still, good for me. Um, wait, was there a Damn it. I was hoping there'd be a beggar that would take my health in there. There were some spikes over this way, though. It's fine. I think... Oh, no. There's a there's a thingy here, anyways. Hello. So that'll kill us. Give us some stats. Take away a one-heart container. Um, and we will keep most of those stats on the next floor. We get Salsa to re-up some of our HP. And we got a luck upgrade out of it as well. Uh, rather nice. And we just keep going. Let's just keep going. Okay, so we do have a sack room this floor, which potentially gives us the option to work around this. So one one thing is the, the burning basement is a little extra laggy. That's something you might already notice here. But yeah, we might be able to do something with the sack room here. I kind of wish I had my key now. Uh, the sun. Ooh. Okay. Yeah, we can we can make some players here. Um, hmm. Wait. Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. The sun card's good, but let's let's do it right. 
We can get, if we find a red heart on this floor, or we get a, a health upgrade from the boss, we can do some good stuff here, so I'm pretty intrigued by this, actually. This is almost definitely secret room. I realize we only got one bomb, so it's a bit of a risk, but... Keybom. I'll wait for a reroll or leave him behind. <laughs> I'm I'm willing to do that for you, Keybum. I'm willing to leave you leave you behind. I know it's such a kindity. Such a kindity? A nicety? Is it nice? I know nicety is a word. Is nicety a word? It doesn't sound like a word. There's a lot of words like that in the English language. English is just terrible. <laughs> English is just. I, I, like, I, I am outstanded by the amount of um, non-native English speakers that are so good at English. Because it is just a backwards, bizarre language. Now, that's not to say other languages aren't too. Like, I don't under I still don't understand why in many other languages different objects have genders. Why is the chair male? What, who, who the fuck decided that? What are you doing? Why, why is the different gendered versions of hello? Why? What's the point? <laughs> it's just, it's silly. Uh, but then again, like I said, the English language has so many more bizarre and unnecessary parts to it that honestly that having gendered items and words isn't really that weird in the grand scheme of things. I can't remember what sentence it is now, but there's a sentence in the English language where you basically say the same word like six times in a row. What the hell's adjustment? Um, you say the same word six times in a row and the sentence makes perfect sense. It's just like, okay then. Uh, right. To be fair, we might, no, I was gonna say we might wanna go devil deal, but I actually think that's a bad idea. I don't think there's any reason to go devil deal here. So let's fight you. I'm hoping we don't have a bad time with you. In fact, that was just an all round terrible attempt at a bomb. I kind of got spooked by the rocks. Thank you. That, why did I pick that up? That was silly too. I just saw Mini Isaac and yeah, I should have used it for healing. Squeezy's good. Okay, so. Leave a squeezy. Leave a squeezy. Uh, let's try and get some hearts out of these. We got some pennies. I do like pennies. Right, keep moving. And I don't think we're going to get health from anywhere else. So we might not be able to make the plays I quite want to make. But... It should be all right. So I think the way that we do this right is we go back over this way. We're not going to get away to reroll key bumps. So I think he stays where he is. We go sack, sack, sun, sack, sack, sack. And then we go back. Well, first of all, let's go to our item room. And we get Beth's heart. Okay, so for one, we've got a Tinted Brock here, which is rather nice. Um, spawns a throwable familiar, stores soul and black hearts as charges for the active item. Um, oh, right, okay. Um, pressing control to supply charges to the active item. Kind of cool. They say okay, I can throw it. I need to take a little look at this thing. Spawns a throwable familiar. Is it a double tap thrower? It is a double tap thrower. Okay, interesting. Um, I think this, is, this may seem like an odd decision, but I think we do sacrifice this soul heart too. And I was hoping for more soul hearts there. Right now, little bit of a slow play here, but I'm going to go back to my shop and hope that I get a soul heart or a red heart in the shop and then play that as well. I'm just trying to get the most out of this sack room here because we've got Squeezy over there, so Squeezy's going to provide us with a bit of protection anyways. We actually get both. Good. Uh, not quite the outcome I was looking for there. But yeah, okay, so now we go back over... Actually, at this point, no, no, no. Don't take Squeezy yet. Don't take Squeezy yet. I'm hoping for an angel item. I think it could change our life. I'm trying to make the most of this. I want, um, I want something that's going to give give me a HP up from the angel deal as well. So, 33% chance for a random angel item, and that is exactly what we're looking for, baby. 
There you go. You see, the due diligence. It pays off, people. It pays off. Oh shit, there's a full heart in there as well. Do you know what? Contract from below is pretty good going. Thank you. Yeah, but now we have flight. We have a great item. We got a bit of extra HP. It just, it all worked out. It all worked out. Now, killing ourselves is going to be a little less priority now that we have actual damage. So, we don't need to worry about that as much. But I might, I might still do it if we get like abundance hearts on the following floors. We'll see. We shall see. So far, so heckin' good. No soul heart. Ah! The double, the double trouble. No soul heart and disappointment. But yeah, revelation, of course. Fantastic item. Gives us flight. Gives us this amazing brimstone beam. I need to see what my best heart does as a throwable. Did it do anything as a throwable there? Okay, maybe I throw it at soul hearts. I, I think from from what I'm getting, it allows me to use Beth's ability of using Soul Hearts to charge my um, to charge my actives if I wish, which is pretty good. But I don't really get why it's throwable right now. Wild card. Wait, doesn't wild isn't wild card just going to use my active again? Yeah, it does. <laughs> I just blocked that door. That was silly of me. And I got nothing for it as well. Good. Where's my key game? I will open this. Yeah, I guess I just in the chance for a key. This run has started out pretty beautifully. I love the Revelation Resprite, by the way, as well. It's so subtle, but it just looks so much better. It just looks nice and clean. Nice and clean. Okay. Taken care of. Taken care of business. I do apologize if the commentary is slightly less joyful in this episode. I'm hoping to keep up the, uh, oh, yes. I'm hoping to keep up the excitement, but um, obviously doing basically a full recording and having to scrap it takes the steam out of you a little bit. Oh, that the that refills my soul. Parasite. Revelation refills my soul. I remember when someone in my Discord tried having like this heated debate about how uh, Brimstone was better than Revelation by saying like, oh, but Revelation has like no synergies. It has nowhere near as many synergies. Not realizing that the wiki just wasn't updated and it has the exact same synergies. Lose all your bombs in proportion. Can spawn a trinket or item? Eh, not really going to be using that, I don't think. Yeah, and they were, they were trying to be like, Whoa, but it, it, the synergies, Brimstone has so many more. And it's like, the wiki's just not updated at this current time, dude. It has the exact same synergies, literally. Literally the exact same. <laughs> and he was like, no. Like, dude. Stop. <laughs> Whoa. Slow your roll there, horsey. Wow, that was quick. Okay, I was going to say that's really good, but actually it's not because we don't need flight. That, however, I will take an urn of souls. I will take an urn of souls. And I think... I think I'm good for a, a little slip slap. Sadly, not a single soul heart of all of that. We do need a little more damage to make Revelation a little more beefy because currently it's fine, but it's... For bossing, it could be a little better. Although, I don't actually know. Maybe these angel deals just get a bit of boss armor from that mod I use. That might be the case. That might be the case. I knew you were going to do that, sir. I knew it. Aha! You've missed me on all accounts here. And then we got our Earn of Souls to go with. I, I just did, did my eating bomb card thing. I didn't mean to. Yeah, I love Ana Souls. It's not... I think Ana Souls maybe plus Revelations is kind of the way to go for bossing. Because that, that could actually do quite a lot of damage. I think regular room to room, we don't really need Ana Souls all too much. There you go. Contract from below. 
Teleports you to a super secret room, reveals the... Okay. Look, Penny, as well. Nice. Uses the forget-me-now effect. Very good. I will be holding on to that very closely. What's left? It's just you. Come on, dude. Don't be a Pringle. That's two big-ass poops. That's two big-ass poops. Hey. Got a nice cop battle consumables from that. A soul heart to go along with it. Yeah, I think we've all but forgotten about the fact that we need to die every floor now. I think we're a little bit past that. But yeah, we can revelation and use the fire. That's that's pretty awesome. I like the fact that our regular tiers are like basically just like not even part of the equation anymore. Uh, sponsor swarm fly upon taking damage. Yeah, we'll take it. I like the sprite for that. The sprite for that's really cool. Holy light is 100% the way to go here. And honestly, I'll, I'll, I'll take Maggie's faith, actually. Oh, look at that. That's, that's pretty beautiful, right? That's a thing of beauty. Cool. We don't need to uh, forget me now and get. I want to get to my item room first. But yeah, having holy light here can trigger on um ooh, it can trigger on my revelations beam so watch out for that i don't know how often it's gonna do that i think it's affected by luck and our luck at the minute is zero so it's not gonna be super common but this could be secret room oh we've already found both of our secret rooms don't be stupid literally both of them were revealed by a card wow even the parasite damage, so good. Yeah, we just need some luck upgrades to really get this kicking. Nope, don't need to do that room. Oh, so close to clearing the whole room in a single beam. Whoa, what the shit? <laughs> That's so much money. Oh, even the parasite got that then. Yes, this is entertaining. This is this is quite quite awesome. I don't know how you guys are liking this, but I'm liking it a whole hell of a lot. But I'm trying to think of something for story time. I think. Oh my god, so much money, so much money. I'm trying to think of a good story time story. I'll tell of a time. Sounds like I'm telling like some some prestigious tale here, but it's not. Um, during school when, uh, I don't, I don't know how many of you have done geography. I, like, I had, we had mandatory geography in our earlier years, but then later it was, like, not mandatory. And, um, that's nice. Polish burn's pretty good. Yeah, it wasn't mandatory anymore, and you could pick it as an option. And I picked it as one of mine. I don't really know why. I didn't really have a, a, a passion for geography or a massive interest in it or anything, but I did it. Uh, Leo's fine. We'll take Leo. Uh, I don't really have a massive passion for it or anything. I just kind of decided to do it. Um, and... It, it was kind of an odd class because, like, what the fuck? The, the year before, um, the year before I decided to do it, it, it used to be a course that you did over, over the course of two years. It was a, it was like, you did the first half in year one of the and the second half in year two, like, as classes tend to be sometimes. But, for some, some weird reason, I think, I think it was budgetary. The, um, in the year that I did it, merged both years into one year, but they didn't lower the amount of work that you had to do. They didn't lower the amount of exams. They didn't lower, like, the topics. They just said, do two years worth of work in one year. Simple as. And because we were kind of the, like, test subjects, a lot of us got not good grades. <laughs> like, I, I can't remember what I got. I think I got, like, a C or something. It wasn't a terrible grade, but, like, it should have been a lot better. Um, Bumblebee fella... Yeah, uh, so a lot of us didn't get great grades on that um, because, yeah, they just made us do two years worth of work in a single year and acted like it was fine, which obviously it wasn't. Um, so, yeah, not, not many people did well, but also that, that class was, like, I think the only class. Yeah, say, say only, probably second to only. There, there, there was another one which I'll kind of talk about as well, where the teacher just, like, 
really didn't like me, which was weird because I was never like a, a proper misbehaving sort of person. I wasn't someone that like gave a gave a reason for the teachers to not like me. They just she just didn't. Um, it was probably because I sat next to my friend who um was. It, <sighs> He was that friend, and everyone knows what I mean. You have that friend in your group where you're not really sure why you're friends with them, but you still are. Um, if you have a pill and take damage, prevents the damage and consumes said pill. That's a very cool idea for a trinket. I don't actually. Do you know what? I will take it. Um, I really like the idea of that. It's like a holy mantle, but pill-based, and also you have to consume a pill, whether it's good or bad. Uh, but yeah, um, he was one of those friends that, like, you're not really sure why you're friends with him. You just kind of are. Um, and he used to do a lot of things that I wasn't a particular fan of, such as just scribble all of my work all the time. He'd, he'd just, like, I remember one time he just... Bear in mind, at this point, we were, like, 14. Um, maybe 13, 14. So we were old enough to not be doing this sort of shit. And I remember one time he just literally, like, grabbed a handful of pens Um and I, I mean like a handful of different multicolored pens and just scribbled all over the page that I'd just spent the entire time working on. I'm just, I was just like, what the hell? And then like, when when we hand our books into the teacher, um, I don't think I need either of those, do I? Yeah, when we hand our books into the teacher, the teacher like comments on it like, don't scribble on your work, Luke. It's like, why the fuck would I do that to myself? In what world would I ever have done that to myself. And I think she just thought that I used to just piss about all the time and stuff. And I'm like, this isn't me. I'm not doing this. <laughs> what are you on about? Um, and then one of the funniest things. So I, my cousin was also in this class. And he, he was he was smart, but he also like pissed about a bit. I mean, we all did in that class, to be fair. But like, more so than others. And I remember one, one time he... Um, from one of his other teachers, not this one. He stole one of the universal remotes for the... Um, for the TVs, uh, we, we had like, I think it was a TV, it's more of a whiteboard. We had these big whiteboards that the teachers did all their work on, um, and they all used the same system and same remote, and he, he took one from one of the teachers, and it meant that he could control every single one of those screens in the entire school. So he'd just like turn it off randomly, switch to the next slide, switch back a slide, and so, and obviously she had no idea it was him doing this. So, and because she wasn't very tech savvy, we, she just had the technician in, like, literally like two to three times every single day and the techie was always like there's nothing wrong with it it's fine what are you on about <laughs> he must have thought she was like like actually going mental and to be fair by the end of it she must have as well it was quite funny he just used to keep messing with her and uh keep changing the <laughs> changing things and it just it'd be like if we did something boring that day it'd be like nah not today <laughs> not today we're not um send everything to blue oh two i've got two of those okay um, yeah, it was just like, easy. Death, world, and moon. I will use the world, and then use the moon. the moon. I will hold this pill as my holy mantle. Two souls of Ezel. Right, go back over this way. I could do saccharine players here, but I don't really have any, um... I don't really have any health to get after the fact, so it's kind of like, might be a little misguided to do that. Although I do want to get some more start upgrades. Ooh, hello. Firming bombs, eh, it's okay, not that good. I'll take this, 9% chance to get eternal heart on getting hit. Ooh, God, this guy is, uh, ah, he's evil. Pretty cool, pretty cool fight. Definitely tough, definitely tough. There you go. You have been bested. Oh, there's more. There's more. Shit. Oh, God. These guys reflect shots. With Parasite, that's not good. Okay, we took a bit more damage than I was hoping there. What the hell's this? Wait, what? Oh, it's two trinkets on top of each other. I was so confused. <laughs> I was like, what's this coin in this little dome thing here? It looked like a coin, do you know, like a snow globe? It looked like a, a snow globe with the coin as a base. I was like, but what is this? <laughs> I'm so confused. 
got so many cards. Nice. Ace of Pentacles. It's my voice. I really need to re-record those. I'm like they're they're serviceable, but I'm not proud of them. I need I need to make them a lot better. I like I just need a gruffer voice. Hey, there's an eternal heart, thank you. There you go. Easy going. But yeah, like, I, I was, I was, as I was saying earlier, I remember one time, it was, it was something really stupid. I can't remember what I got in trouble for now. I can't remember what it was. I think it was literally just talking. Um, and she was like, right, I've had enough with you. I've had enough. You're going to go sit outside on your own for the rest of the class. And I was just like, it's summer. It's nice out. Yeah. Sounds good. <laughs> and I just went outside and sat outside. And I loved it. It was like, I just, I just got to sit outside for like 45 minutes and do nothing. I was just like, fine by me. <laughs> That's not really a threat. Um, oh, and then, and then, like, because th I think I said in a previous episode, the way we did our, our options was uh, that we'd be in the class for the whole day. So I had a whole day of geography, um, which is probably why she was fed up with us all. Oh, I didn't realize I couldn't kill that, that dude. I'm taking some damage right now. We're getting some eternal hearts though, so I'm happy about that, and an immortal heart too. Nice. Um. Yeah, and um, because we had the option for the whole day, we, like, if we ever had a substitute, it was kind of... One moment. I am back. I went to take the bins out. I heard a very loud noise, and I was like, what the hell was that? Um, and it's just my girlfriend taking the bins out, so I was like, yeah, probably, should probably help her. Um, so, yeah. Anyways, what was I saying? Oh, yeah, so, like, when we had, like, a substitute, we'd have a substitute for, like, the whole day, which was rare, because, obviously, when it's your option classes, but, obviously, sometimes the teachers are ill, and... Usually, I don't know how many how many times you've had substitute teachers. I'm sure a lot of you have had them before. But usually, substitute teachers don't actually know what they're doing. And by that, I mean, like, they're, they're of course, like, teachers. But they, at least for us, they often just stuck substitute teachers on a subject, regardless of if that teacher knew how to teach that subject or not. And normally, it's just a case of, here you go, just get yourself some, uh textbooks and read from the textbooks, simple as, sort of thing. Um, and we had this one, I don't remember her name now, and she didn't like doing that. She was great for, for uh, kids that didn't want to do school, but she wasn't so great for teaching us. But I remember one time we had her for the full day, and she was like, do you know what? It's geography, and just ended up showing us all of her holiday photos. There was literally hundreds of them. She just had them like on her phone and hooked it up to the screen, and was just like, Oh, I think it was on a laptop, but whatever. She hooked it up to the screen and was just like, here's all my holiday photos. <laughs> it was just like an entire day of just going through this woman's holiday photos. And she was like, yeah, it's geography. It's a place. It's not it, It's not the UK. There you go. Simple. <laughs> and I was like, do you know what? I'm a fan of your logic. I missed out on my item room because I wasn't paying attention. That's a little bit silly of me. Um, Let's go with this just, just because I want the damage. Hmm... Yeah, I should have really should have tried to get my uh, thingy room there. Right. At least we have an immortal heart right now. That's that's kind of helping out. I'm not getting many holy light procs, even still. I was really hoping I'd be getting a lot more than this, but I guess that's what you get when you have very low luck. Oh wow, that was a quick flaw. <laughs> That was a very, very quick flaw. He's eternal. I don't know what that means for us, but to be fair, it doesn't matter. Whatever it meant for us, he's dead now. Oh shit! I was I was getting closer to plant a bomb, and I was like, oh, I have Leo. I just walk right into him. Who knows if we'll end up getting enough to do Mega Satan here, but I will try. I really want to keep my immortal heart alive here. Yes, I managed it. Oh, wait, what? Oh, we already have the key. Okay, that makes more sense. We got Seraphim. When did we get the key? I don't even remember. I'm all I'm all out of sorts here. But yeah, that was a funny day. 
<laughs> it's just like, I remember as well, like another teacher came in to check up on us and he, she was just like, oh, we're just talking about, I can't remember what, she made it some sort of live about like ancient Greece or something. She, she some, some like thing about like topography and landscapes and stuff. And it was just like complete horseshit. She was just showing us holiday for us. <laughs> Uh, can I get another uh, navigation like I did with that last floor, please? Where I just go straight to the boss fight. That'd be amazing. Oh, when Holy Light does proc the, the damage is there. Ow. Oh, there was a fucking baby on me. I lost so much health from that. At least I got a, a spirit heart and an immortal heart out of that. Uh, eternal heart, even. Need to remember I've got Leah. I keep stepping on rocks in the womb and it's like it's a bad idea. Oop, cats, cats, cats. Ugh. Lovers. Why ay ay. Okay. Let's keep going. School, school, I had a, I had a reasonably good time at school. Hey, there's an immortal heart. Don't think it should be able to drop immortal hearts, but that's fine. And there's, I'm getting so lucky with this. It said an 8% chance, if you remember correctly. 8%. This has been way better than 8%. I've been getting one like every other hit. I don't know if that's because the chances are balked or I'm just really lucky. I'm going to go with I'm just really lucky. I have that YouTuber look. And we navigated correctly. Huzzah. Lost my mortal heart again. Just keep doing this, burning her up. Okay, these burnies, I was about to say, when they blow up, oh my god. This version of Mum is pretty rough. I gotta say, I'm gonna get hit a, a good few times against her, I know that for a fact. Meant to be tough, though. I don't mind it. I don't mind it. I'm just unexpected. This The slowing doesn't help. The little bee keeps slowing her down, like, randomly. Right. Don't think we can do a uh, boss rush here. And we keep going. I just love Parasite. It's such a fun item. What we got here? Flat file, which is good. And all starts up while there is a curse on the current floor. We'll take that as well. There's no curse on this floor right now, but that won't be the case always. At least we're killing these guys relatively quickly. I think having flight helps on a lot of these eternal bosses too. I've noticed a lot of the eternal bosses tend to make creep. And it's like, we kind of have an immunity to that right now. Should have known that down wasn't the right way there. Oh my god, some healthy boys here. Always got to be through the big room. Ooh. Whoa, that's a very cool brimstone there. We did not do a lot of damage to him though. I'm actually going to bomb out of this room. This room could take us forever. This is bad. Holy hell. Okay, let's just hope this was the right way. Because I don't want to go back through that room again. Ooh, this guy fires, then dives, then fires. Honestly, the mortal enemies' designs are really clever for the most part. They've done a pretty good job with them. They're thematic and, like, fitting and feel appropriately difficult. It seems like for the most part as well, they didn't increase the health of a lot of the enemies, which I thought they did initially, which makes them not too, not too annoying. That's pretty funny. <laughs> Tumaruma. Tumaruma. Ooh, hello. I've not experienced you before. You're immortal too? Okay. Immortal Eternal, even. So the Eternal version of this guy, I don't think it does anything different other than spawning three babies. I have no idea what's in store for us here. I'm going to guess not much different. Oh, wait, that's different. Okay. Because the hand attacks seem almost identical. That brimstone's really cool. 
Uh, I just realized that I'm using... I'm holding my jar with no souls in it. It's pointless. I think the hand attack does like one more beam. Ooh. There's some difference going on here. And I have no idea what's in store for us for the feetsies. Okay. The feet just do a splash of tears when you hit the ground. That could be problematic. They also seem to sit on the ground for longer. And they spawn fallens. Okay. I might die here. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm dead. I visually can't see anything. What's going on? I mean, I died, but I, I did come back with a bit of HP. And I got some stats out of it. Most importantly, I got some stats out of it. Now, Mega Satan might not be super appropriate here. I will take that. Hmm. Just so I can activate this. There you go. I think this could help. I realize fire rate isn't super important, but for holy light it is. We just need to have not too many immortal enemies. And we'll be okay. Oh my god. So many explosive boys in here. One more of you. Oh, another soul heart. That's fantastic. I'm hoping the immortal heart will carry us through some of this as well. And I'm hoping for more rooms like that. Honestly, more rooms with, like, super basic enemies. Always charge up my revelation before entering a room, I think. I think I accidentally just played that dude then. I lost my immortal heart. No. I needed that so desperately. That was kind of my saving grace. I could end up getting another one, I suppose, but I don't know how likely that is. Oh, my God, dude. Some of these rooms... Some of these rooms are, like, fine until you introduce an eternal enemy, and then it's like, these ain't possible. Oh, immortal heart. Is this the right way to the boss? It is. Wow. I was lucky. Don't telefrag me, you stupids. Now, can we actually do this without getting killed? That's the question. I'm gonna bet no. I think Holy Light's actually better. I don't think he's in the fires is all that useful. I'm hoping my, my Bernie there just blocks enough shots to keep me alive. He kind of did. He blocked quite a lot. Okay, he's about to split. Is he split? Yeah, yeah, there you go, he split. I, don't, I never really know if, like, him splitting is good for us or bad for us. He's not immortal. Uh, I keep calling it immortal. It's not eternal, so we've got that going for us at least. I was trying to get rid of the body first. I think the body's the most important one to get rid of because it just passively throws shit at you. The body's not even close to dead, though. What the hell? Oh, no way. Should not have been hit there. Oh, wait. I've got homing bombs. Why have I not been using these? God damn, they do so much damage. Why was I not using these? As much as I hate to say it, we've got to go try fight Mega Satan. It's a bad idea. It's a real bad idea, but I've got to try it. I should maybe do some more rooms, try and find some items. Let, let, let's do that, because if we die, we die anyways, so... Still a fella around, a wormski. Please give me an item. Damn it. Item or soul heart. That's all I want. Simple as. I'm not doing an L-shaped room. That seems like certain death for me. Oh, dude. Please don't lose the immortal heart. We need it. We need it.
Pinking Shears. I actually think Pinking Shears is better for us here. I'm glad we found that. Just because, like, we can just use it and then it's, like, done. It's out the way with. We don't have to, like, focus on it. Damn it, we're just not getting any drops, though, here. This is bad. Damn it, not a single soul heart from those guys either. This is all around a very bad room for us here. We managed to kill the boss, dude, but there's still all of these shysters to deal with. Honestly, having the, the shiny burn thing has been super useful. Just gulping the hell out of those. We could do with a pill as well to use as a holy mantle. That'd also be very useful. But don't get hit again here. That'd be super bad. Yes, the immortal heart is saved. Oh my god. Pinking Shears, can you do this? Can you save the day? Oh no, no. Don't get hit again, don't get hit again. Without the immortal heart, we are dead. It's gone. The immortal heart's gone. God damn it. You had to do it to me, didn't you? Right. We go in. For certain death, but we go in. So you're saying there's a chance. Do you remember as well, if we get hit, we lose a lot of stats. Try and focus only on the, the middle section here. Try and get collaterals on these dudes as well whenever possible. Take out any that would spawn bombs first. Dude! Dude! What was with that slowdown? Can you stop slowing me? Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> what was I meant to do there? Anyways, I knew I was going to die there. I hope you guys enjoyed this one nonetheless, and I'll see you guys in the next one.